It is another Sunday, and it is Sunday, June 30th, long weekend here in Canada, Canada Day tomorrow, July 1st, last day of the month, and some news dropped this past week that looks like interesting and I want to get into it. There was a recent Dan Hauser interview and some information about Elden Ring as well. So we're going to get into that after the intro. So starting over here on Ben Zinga, the Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC just came out and it sold 5 million copies. But this is not what this news beats is about for me. It did sell a lot and I've, I haven't played it yet. I'm still playing the regular game. But Miyazaki hinted that he would be open to a movie adaptation, which is interesting. That's the part of this article that I think is interesting. So Elden Ring movie adaptation a possibility. Hidetaka Miyazaki from Software has hinted at a potential adaptations of Elden Ring beyond the gaming world, provided the right partnership emerges. I don't see any reason to deny another interpretation or adaptation of Elden Ring. A movie, for example, Miyazaki told the Guardian. See, that's just him not even saying anything, really. He's just like, I can, it could happen, very hypothetically, but they're like, oh, he said there's a movie coming out. You heard it here first. However, he stressed the necessity of collaborating with a very strong partner who could faithfully translate the game's complex lore and narrative style into another medium. Elden Ring's intricate history and lore, designed to be challenging and mysterious, might be difficult to adapt into another format. The game's fragmented narrative style, typical of Miyazaki-directed games, relies heavily on player exploration and discovery which could be challenging to translate into other media. However, the rich setting created with help of Game of Thrones author George R. R. Martin offers a lot of material for adaptation. So that's where a strong, very strong partner could come into play. We'd had to build a lot of trust and agreement on whatever it is we're trying to achieve, but that's there's interest for sure. So when it says there's interest, is that just something he's been considering on his own and hasn't said anything to anybody yet? While he didn't specify what this interest entails, the idea of a movie adaptation isn't far-fetched, given the current trend of game adaptations. Maybe he's being approached, just like Todd Howard was approached repeatedly until he finally decided to work with uh, Jonathan Nolan on Fallout. Maybe people are offering Miyazaki. Nothing has talked to him yet for him to be like, all right, this is who I should I work with. That could be what he means, or it could just be straight up just saying it off the top of his head, and this is an actual solid news but we'll find out over here on screen rent there is a recent article with dan hauser that's actually been split up into a lot of different sites and on the site itself that has the article anchor or anklist or something i have to like subscribe to read the whole thing which is stupid so other articles have bits and pieces from that article so this one is about a grand theft why a grand theft auto movie hasn't happened yet according to franchise exec over here on screen rant former gta franchise executive dan hauser explains why audiences will be getting a movie adaptation in a recent interview with the ankler like I, that was what it was the ankler i went over there and i clicked on it but it wanted me to sub to read the rest of the article, so I was like, no thanks. Hauser, who left his position as co-founder, head writer, and VIP of creativ Creativity at Rockstar in 2020, explains why a Grand Theft Auto movie never happened. I still I still feel like he should be saying yet, because he's not there anymore, so I don't really think it's his call. According to executives, there is too much risk involved in relinquishing control over their highly lucrative franchise, especially at a time when most video game potential weren't very good. Well, yeah, they are now, though. That's the thing. After a few awkward dates, we'd ask executives, why would we do this? And the response was, because you get to make a movie. And we'd be like, no, what you've described is you making a movie and us having no control and taking a huge risk that we're going to end up paying for it with something that belongs to us. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it would be a smash hit just on the name alone. Like people would be like, there's a Grand Theft Auto game movie. I'm going to watch that. They couldn't make all their money back in one weekend. They thought we'd be blinded by the lights, and that just wasn't the case. We have what we consider to be a multi-billion dollar IP, and the economics never made sense. The risk never made sense. In these days, the perception was that games made poor quality movies. It's a different time now. So it comes out, and everyone who loves the games would watch it, and that'd be billions of people. If a movie did move forward, however, it would face a number of key challenges. Unlike a game like Red Dead Redemption or its hit sequel, 
There isn't one clear Grand Theft Auto protagonist that serves as an obvious choice around which to build a film. Many of the game's characters are memorable, but most don't have the same kind of emotionally resonant awk that someone like Red Dead Redemption 2 Arthur Morgan has. Alright, over here on Deadline, uh, Sony has officially dated the Street Fighter movie and the release for 2026. This is over on Deadline. Article came out a couple of days ago. Sony and Legendary announced on Wednesday afternoon their live action Street Fighter movie based on the classic video games like Capcom has been dated for release in theaters on March 20th, 2026. So they have an actual day day. New to of the release date comes shortly after the word that Danny and Michael Philippou, the Australian twin brother filmmakers best known for their A24 horror breakout Talk To Me has exited as directors on the project. Yeah, I reported on that just a week or so ago. Details as to the plot of the film adaptation are under wraps. But given today's news, you can expect that we'll be hearing about a new director for this hot IP-based project soon. Yeah, so they're saying it's coming out in two years, and they don't even have a director right now. So that's interesting. Sony will distribute the film, co-develop, and produce by Cap. Legendary announced its acquisition of live-action film and TV rights to Street Fighter, one of the most iconic influential series in the history of video games in April 2023. The games revolve around an international... The games revolve around an international martial arts tournament where fighters from around the world complete to prove their strength and abilities. It gained massive success with Street Fighter 2 in 1991. And yes, I recall when that happened. And Street Fighter 2 arcade machines were everywhere. Since the franchise was launched in 1987, more than 49 million units have been sold worldwide, making Street Fighter one of the most well-known and high-engrossing franchises of all time. The most recent installment of Street Fighter VI was released on a whole bunch of series last year. Previously, the games have also inspired films like Street Fighter starring Jean-Claude Van Damme and Street Fighter The Legend of Chun-Li. And yet they failed to mention the uh, actual best adaptation of the animated Street Fighter II movie. I came out like in the 90s. While the weekend of March 2026 is otherwise wide open for now, other titles set to open around that time include Warner Bros. The Cat in the Hat. What? Who gives a crap about that? Another me Exorcist? Who gives a crap about that? But the sequel to Box Office Smash Super Mario Bros. movie? That could be a big one. That would be weird to release that around the same time. Two huge gaming franchises, but who knows? That's where we're going. That's, this could be where it's happening. All right, guys, my new wrap up for the week. Not, not, the, not much, not really that exciting news. Nothing really dropping news wise, other than maybe the release date of Street Fighter 2026, e even though they just lost their director. So that's curious as to how they're going to do that in two years. But you never know with these people, they have lots of money. So, but yeah, kind of a short news week. Not a whole lot of great things dropping, but news is news, and I'll report on whatever it is I can. I just enjoy making videos for my channel, and I wish it would grow more. I'm at 251 subs. I would love to have a thousand. Like, just getting to a thousand is a huge hurdle, but I'm not even at 500 yet. So, if you're watching, for the love of God, subscribe. For the love of God, like. And for the love of God, share. But of all else, don't forget to keep gaming. Thank you.